What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over how to get better handles when using a chair. Let's get started. Alright guys, well in this video today we're going to go over a couple of drills that you can use to create a better handle with a chair, right? So a lot of you should have a chair around you whether it be at home, at the gym, grab something like this in order to help you work on your handles. Now this could be something that you use as like a dummy or a decoy, a defender, and you're trying to get by them, right? So you can always do something like chair dribbling where you're sitting in a chair, you know, and you're working on your handles, but you could do that anywhere, right? You can find a chair and just constantly work on your ball handling. Now that's one way, but that's one way I'm not gonna show you today. We're gonna work on three different types of moves to get past this chair, all right? And we're gonna do them coming full speed at the chair and work on combination dribbles so we can tighten and get better handles, right? So a combination dribble is more than one move. So if I was to come at this chair, I don't wanna just give an in and out, right? Which is totally fine, you can use that if this is a real defender, it's a quick move, but I wanna work on our combination dribbling where we're constantly putting a combination move together to get past the defender. So I mean, maybe like a between the legs crossover, right? Or between the legs with the same hand behind the back, or a double behind the back. You might even wanna throw a triple combination in there, all right? But I'm gonna give you three different ones starting right now, so let's move on and let's dive right into the first drill of three when using a chair to create better handles. Let's have a look at the first drill. All right, so the first combination dribble we're going to use is between the legs behind the back. Right, so if I'm coming at the chair, and you can set this up at all different angles on the floor. I would recommend just doing it on the wing, the middle, and the opposite wing as well. Three areas of the court you would attack and transition right down the middle of the court or on one of the wing areas down the outside, okay? So I've got it down in the middle. And I'm going to attack at full speed now. We want to give us ourselves enough room where we can attack in full speed. So I want to start closer to half court, maybe even beyond, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come down, I'm attacking full speed, I'm going between the legs, behind the back, get to the basket, and score. Okay, so it's gotta be quick. I don't want you to get here and go between the legs, stop, and then go behind the back, right? We're coming at the defender, oh, boom, we're right by him, to the basket, easy money, all right? Again, we're working on combination dribbles in order to get past the defender, and right now, the chair is something that you should have at all times around you, whether you're at home or at a gym. All right, so let's have a look at this first drill of between the legs, behind the back combination dribble using a chair in full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to the next move with the chair. We're gonna go with a double between the legs. Okay, so we're going to get a double between the legs. So as I attack, I got the ball in either hand. I can go either direction, right? We're coming up, we're going one, two, and we're blowing by, right? So this one has a little change of pace. Okay, so I come up to the defender or the chair in this case, one, two, I burst by to the basket and score, all right? So the first between the legs is a little slower. Not so much slow, but setting up the defender. So we're here, boom, boom, and I'm out, right? Because on that first one, the defender's taking a step back, right? Got them on their heels, they gotta figure out what's coming next. Then you change your speed with the second between the legs to blow right by them, all right? So we're coming up, boom, boom, and we're out, okay? Double between the legs with a chair and full speed. All right, Hoopers, the third move we're gonna go over right now is a between with one hand, meaning we got the ball on one side, we're going between, and we're gonna collect the ball back. Now we're going to a double behind the back. So if I'm attacking the chair, it's between, behind, behind. So on this last one, I'm giving you a triple combination move to really break down and tighten your handles while using a chair. 
All right, so if I'm attacking this chair here, I'm coming at him. Boom, one, two, three. Oh, wait, that's nasty. Ooh, goo, goo, goo. Buck, okay? So in between one hand, double behind the back, break down the, the defender, get by him, and score strong at the basket. Remember, none of this matters if you're not scoring afterwards, all right? So we got the triple combination between one hand, double behind the back, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it, finish at the basket and score. Here it is in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. When you have a chair, take advantage. Use the moves that you've seen today to work on tightening your ball handling using a chair. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and suggestions. We do appreciate the suggestions that you give us about future videos as we try to get to all of them. Most importantly, click the subscribe button, join Think Pro Basketball, where we're giving you great content every single week designed to help you improve your game and take it to the next level. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, grab a chair, work on your ball handling, and remember to always keep hooping. Yeah!